Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Protocol being established. I joined the members of the House of Assembly and indeed the entirety of Anguilla in welcoming Her Excellency the Governor, Ms. Christina Scott, to the most beautiful island with the most beautiful people on the planet. Welcome. I have longed for this day, and I hope that we, the people of Anguilla, exceed all your expectations, and that is reciprocated. I know the father of the nation, the Honorable James Ronald Webster, would have loved to be here. But like Nelson Mandela, he is ailing, and we pray for his quick recovery. It was just yesterday my wife asked me what I would speak about, and I told her, I will speak about Tra Trayvon Martin, and I will speak about our Trayvon Martins, as I was inspired by the latest trial and acquittal, and also motivated by the arrival of Her Excellency, and indeed, the eighth anniversary of my best friend's passing yesterday. These events, and others, caused me to reflect. I welcome Her Excellency with the knowledge that in the governor, immense powers are bestowed. Those powers are enshrined in a document called the Anguilla Constitution Order 1982. While I believe Her Excellency will work in the true spirit of cooperation and in consort with the people of Anguilla through the elected representatives, I thought it fitting that we reflect a bit on yesterday. Yesterday, we said goodbye to our elect excellencies, predecessor with celebration, joy, and gladness. Yesterday, we forget yesterday too quickly. And it is yesterday that will shape what we do today and tomorrow. Yesterday, we watched the results of the trial and express our disgust on social media and through varying medium. We mourn and felt the pain of the Martins. Yesterday, we too had our Trayvon Martins, in that yesterday, there were those who were lost and no one has been brought to justice. The mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers of our Trayvon Martins are still grieving. Yesterday, Roger Pressure King Clark was our Trayvon Martin. Yesterday, Lou Van Lulu Webster was our Trayvon Martin. Yesterday, Stacey Ann Brooks Laurent was our Trayvon Martin. Yesterday, Kwame Brooks was our Trayvon Martin. Yesterday, Jeremiah Sky Alexander was our Trayvon Martin. Yesterday, Courtney Hodge. Jadel Gomes, Gustav Hodge, was our Trayvon Martins. Yesterday, Devon Ryan was our Trayvon Martin. Madam Speaker, we must never forget too quickly what has happened yesterday, or we may repeat the same mistakes today and tomorrow. While the above mentioned are our Trayvon Martins, we should never forget the grieving families of Dwayne Connor, Shane Freitz, Michael Gomes, Clifford Christie, and others. We welcome Her Excellency, the Governor, who is charged with the responsibility for external defense and internal security, including the police and the prison, to sit with us, sit with members of civil society and TAB, Sit with the people of Angola and chart a way forward to stamp out the scourge of gun violence that plague us once and for all. We welcome Her Excellency the Governor to use her good offices to impress upon Her Majesty's government to look favorably at the development of our social services. I beg Her Excellency to visit with us and use her reach to facilitate the completion of the indoor facility which was started and stopped due to the lack of funding and a track so that we can produce more athletes such as Zarnell Hughes and Shara Proctor, who ironically 
competes for the UK. We welcome Her Excellency today, but we must not forget those who were maimed by the barrel of a gun yesterday. Today, we welcome Her Excellency the Governor, and we know she will work diligently with the Royal Anguilla Police Force and the people of Anguilla so that the hands that pulled the triggers, that shot the bullets, that riddled the bodies of Renel Carty, Sean Grant Romney, Greg Connor, Stephen Hughes, Kevin Richardson, Morton Isaac, Leroy Mossington, Travis Green, Desia D'Souza, Kishira Hughes, Ruskin Romney, Rosman Davis, Salim Brooks, Dion Richardson, and Randy Hodge will not continue tomorrow. Yesterday, Madam Speaker, again we witnessed a senseless, senseless shooting of a number of our young men, leaving much questions, tears, sorrow, and pain for the families, the community, and the country. Yesterday, yesterday, the more right, Leroy Fleming, Ken Fincy Davis, Jelani Leonard, Dylan Romney, and Nikhail Davis was added to the aforementioned list. And the question is, what will Her Majesty's government do about it? The question remains, how many or more of our young men must fall victim as a nation before we do something about it? And why do we forget so quickly? Today, the mothers, sisters, brothers, and fathers of those seven young men some of whom are attending college, are spending their time praying, crying, and joining others from yesterday in mourning. So today, we celebrate the swearing in of Her Excellency the Governor, Ms. Christina Scott, with heavy hearts and sadness, when this should be a time of joy and celebration. Today, Madam Speaker, we share his